Hello everybody and welcome back to another Nuclear Throne Ultra episode. We are jumping in again this time. We're going to try out Angel and we do have a new thumbnail that is provided to us by someone called Strider in my Discord. I've actually set up a sort of little competition, kind of a little just like art thing in my Discord where people have the opportunity to make thumbnails for the various characters from this mod that we don't have thumbnails for yet. I thought it could just be fun for different people that are artistic in my Discord and anyone that's watching as well if you want to join the Discord and take part. Um, some people have done them. We've got one from Strider here that's done Angel. We've got a skeleton one made. We have a frog one made. Um, and I believe we also have one for the weaponsmith as well. Some really, really interesting ones, but I'm really enjoying them. You can see, obviously, the thumbnail for this one in this video. We're going to play as Angel. We start with um, the ability to fly over walls. And then deflect immune and heal for the right click ability seems kind of insane. Oh. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, you can fly over walls like this look. Which is pretty interesting. But yeah, um Did not expect to uh it to consume ammo as it did it. But being able to deflect heal um and what was the other thing as well? But anyways, we could do some good stuff with this, but it's going to cost us ammo, which is good to know. For example, we can heal up. Oh, we don't have enough ammo to do it, I see. But we can get gone from here. It seems that we, like, maybe take damage from being over walls or something. I don't know what's going on with the feathers. What's going on with the feathers? Okay, yeah, we do take damage. So we're going to be a little careful about hovering over walls. We are going to take extra damage from that. Um, We'll go with... um. Enrich metabolism here. I think that's going to be useful for us. But yeah, we want something like we want, we want a lot of ways to gain ammo, which is one of the reasons I took enrich metabolism there. Um, I think that's going to be really good for us. We're up to full HP now, though, so we don't have to worry about it right now. But yeah, the ability to fly over blocks is really really nice. Obviously, you can't fly all the way over everything. Um, it is sort of somewhat limited, but it kind of makes sense because otherwise the game would be a bit crazy. Um, be able to fly over absolutely everything, but being able to fly over bits and bobs here is useful. Being able to sort of get around, especially with the way the nuclear throne generates its areas, it seems really useful. Especially in certain places like sewer and stuff like that, to take like little shortcuts. Anyone else over here? Okay, just the boss now. But like this, for example, being able to just go around here. Makes things a hell of a lot easier for us. I like that a lot. We go over to the sewers here. Um, what do I want to take here? Da, 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 da. I don't really know, to be honest. Um, Euphoria could be quite good. Let's try Euphoria. But yeah, I think I think sewers is going to be where it really shows its true self and shines. Uh, having the flight. Oh, we've taken some damage here. Let's uh, spend some ammo in order to heal up. I, that's really nice, that. It, basically, it means that if we ever get into a really sticky situation where it very much looks like we're going to... Ooh, charge laser. Where it very much looks like we're going to um, die, we're able to um, use a little bit of our ammo reserves to make it slightly more plausible that we survive. Good. Got up to level 4, that's nice. And we'll go over to the inverted area here as well. With some level ups in tow. Uh, alkaline saliva is always good for defense. We'll take that. And then, yeah, in this area, it's going to be a little tricky. But yeah, I, I see why it makes it so that you take more damage like the longer you hover over walls. Because I suppose with a lot of scenarios, you could just sit over the top of walls, especially with certain guns like the ion cannons. I feel like the ion cannons would be really strong because you don't need to... Um, with an ion cannon, you don't need to be in a specific location to fire it. Sort of, you aim it where you want it to go. Let's see. Slugger there. We'll take splinter on our... Uh, weapon drops are on our charge laser here. Take a little bit of healing there. Now, something that's kind of interesting here is, can we pick up this weapon and... Yeah, we can, like, pick it up and utilize the ammo sort of thing. Yeah, weapon drop basically just means that there's going to be a chance for us to gain weapons when we kill enemies, which is kind of nice. There you go, got through that just nicely. Ooh, hello. I did not expect to be going to YVs here. I mean, I'm definitely not upset about it, but I'm slightly confused. 
I'm a little bit worried about my current situation with ammo and stuff, to be honest. Okay, the charge thing, we really do need to charge, otherwise it's just going to do nothing for us. There's some ammo there for the wrong goddamn weapon there. The charge weapons are really awkward to charge up sometimes. Good, good. Check out what we've got going on here. Golden Lance. Oh, we've had Golden Lance with a few other characters. Very, very useful. Good damage. Very, very good range for a melee weapon as well. Good stuff. That was a rocket that hit me there. I'm not gonna. Not gonna fret, it's fine. Good, good, good. Nice and easy. We're leveling up very quickly with this character as well right now. Um, cheaper healing, immunity, and deflecting. Uh, that's probably quite nice. Higher um, ammo max is probably better though for being able to use it more often. So I'm gonna take that. Seems goddamn useful. Got a cursed weapon here, Gatling Slugger. Melee weapons for flying over walls seem very nice, I've got to say. Go. Yeah, now we need like Rabbit's Paw to get even more ammo. Is what I'm thinking. Just be careful of the rockets coming our way. I would like to take that Gatling Slugger, but I'm a little worried to take it just because of uh, it being a cursed weapon. We're not having a throwing vault nearby to uncurse it. Should be almost dead now. There you go. Good, good, good. Oh, uh, what the hell? Did you see that? Thank God that guy didn't hit me. That guy came at me at a lightning speed. Not quite sure what that was about, to be honest. Beautiful stuff. Sitting over the top of the walls. We definitely need a better other weapon, so maybe, maybe I will take this. It's honestly a little risky, but for killing the boss that's about to come up, I think it's well worth it. Good, good. As long as we can get some good ammo going for this. Which it looks like we're doing right now. Double laser pistol. Pretty good. Good stuff. The rads are coming in like crazy. We're getting level ups on the regular here. Get the big boys are a little more tricky, but not overall that bad for us. Let me get one of you as well. And yeah, for this boss coming up here, the Gatling Slugger with 99 rounds, I think it should do a pretty good job. Um, I think now we take the throne, but... And you're going to take some damage there, that's fine. There you go, see what I mean? Good stuff, good stuff. Cuba Revolver. I'm going to try the Cuba Revolver. It's it's a tier 8, so it should be pretty good. Oh, Cubas are the ones that can go over walls. That's why it's tier 8. Okay, that's very good to know. Being able to shoot projectiles over walls... Pretty goddamn incredible for situations like this, and especially as a character that can fly, it seems very, very like befitting of the of the character we're playing as. I'm quite quite happy to have that. I wonder if they have a higher chance of showing up. Probably not, but potentially. I don't. I don't know. Good. Split Seeker Pistol. I don't think we need that. I think I'm pretty happy with what I've got going on right now, to be honest. This Gatling Slugger is super, super nice for just that rapid fire damage. Especially things that are getting currently one-shot by it. Which is most things, coincidentally. Yeah, these guys are dropping bombs all over the place. Which is actually fine, because it's doing a nice job of... Uh, 
opening up the area a little bit for me. Okay. Just keep it careful. Sticky launcher I think we're fine for. Open that up. This will uncurse our weapon here, which is kind of nice. Get out behind there, you fool. Right. And then... Puffy Cheeks, Rhino Skin. Rhino Skin for even more HP to heal up. It's kind of nice. We'll go straight through. This has uncursed our weapon nicely enough. Yeah. I need to use a Cuba Revolver a little bit more. I think as this character, I need to get used to making the most of it while I've got it. Because it does do a bloody good bit of damage. We're taking things out pretty easily with it. It's three shotting those guys with a Gatling Slugger. Well, this guy we definitely want to just annihilate as quick as we can. Be able to sit over the top of walls is going to be hugely important against this guy. Blocking those shots every now and again, every fourth hit blocked is saving our life a hell of a lot as well. Mega Laser Pistol. I didn't want to take... No. I, I, I didn't want to actually take it with me. My bad. I don't have my Cuba Revolver anymore. Yeah, this isn't as good as my Cuba Revolver either, which is annoying. I was likely going to get rid of it at some point, but now wasn't the time. Good. Hell. Hell's Bells. Thundercracken. Okay, apparently Kraken got reworked again in the most recent update. I'm on the uh, the the cover beta, so I'm getting some of the updates before everyone else's. The developer does a lot of work into tweaking and changing the balance of things. There's like an update like every day. But yeah, Kraken got changed again. Seems pretty goddamn good to me right now. The boss coming, I was about to say. Flame Director Eraser. Yeah, the Kraken thing's doing a good job against this because it can take out the minions easily. It does have limited range, so we've got to be a little careful about that. Haven't needed to sacrifice much of our health yet, which is good. Flame Director Eraser. Oh. Beautiful, look at that. Look at that. That is some damage right there. Deposit weapon. No thank you, I don't think. Unless we want to grab another weapon from this stage and deposit it. The curse weapon. Auto Frost Flare Gun. Yes, please. Yeah, that seems pretty good. <laughs> oh, well, we've got two lots of the same ammo type now, though. Um, got flexible elbows now, I guess. Yeah, we need another weapon now, because I didn't realise we had two lots of this. I keep forgetting that Kraken is explosive. It's a good way of taking care of the big boys. Just constant damage over time. Love Bubbler. Oh, what? I died. <laughs> okay, I was not expecting that. Okay, I had this issue in my last recording. Apparently when I restart as this character, it's just a black screen, so hang on a minute. Okay, we're back. Sorry, I don't know what that is, so developer, maybe take a, a, look, a look at that. Basically, for some reason, when I, um, when I just quick restart, it just comes up with a black screen. 
So, also another thing that I'm noticing, which it's it's really up to you, but in terms of the randomized golden weapon, I, I'm sometimes randomizing the default weapon, which isn't gold. <laughs> so, I, I don't know if that wants to be removed from the rotation or if you want all of them in there, including the default weapon. I guess it makes sense to include the default weapon. Um, what should we go for here? Go for Strong Spirit, just in case, because last time we had a bit of an issue. But yeah, the, the problem with that last run there is I, well, I was using two weapons of the same ammo type, meaning I didn't have the spare ammo to heal up. Otherwise, I would have healed. Good, good. Grenade launcher, yes, please. A very good first stage. Was this first stage? Or no, second stage, sorry. Very good second stage. Um, absorbing Paul seems really good to take early. Just extra drops. Like this, for example, we can't fly all the way over that. We can only fly over certain gaps. You've got to be a little bit careful about where you want to fly. Blood weapons, although they're weak, they're so good for defense. Toxic thrower. Hmm. Sounds dangerous. <laughs> although that's both ammo types there. Yeah, okay, that's very dangerous. Let's not take that. <laughs> Oops. Let's take some ammo though there and do that. Excuse me, big boy. Don't think so, don't think so. Right, good, good. No toxic, toxic frogs, please. Unfortunately, I've got to use a grenade launcher against regular enemies here, which is always my downfall. I didn't hit you yet. I already hurt myself with it. God damn it. As I said, grenade launcher, regular enemies, I always end up hurting myself, so I've got to be very cautious. I mean, it's not that hard to, to like, get around and do, but I just always end up making some big mistake. Good, good, good. And we can go into the, uh, for pizza time. Um... Eagle Eyes, maybe? Get the Golden Screwdriver unlocked, lovely. Which I might as well take, to be honest. Where are you, turtle boys? No, you're in here. That Toxic Revolver we got there, we're not getting great weapons here. Under the sea. Okay, this is going to be kind of rough, I think. With a grenade launcher. Stop sucking me in! Oh my god. I don't have the ammo for this. I don't have the ammo for this, fuck. That was horrible. That boss is really, really, really hard. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm getting the same it it situation, so one sec. We are back. Basically, I just have to quickly reboot the game, so... No harm. No harm done. Good to find out glitches before they make the public release. I will notify the developer. By the way, just just for you guys' knowledge, I uh, I have a quite a large backlog of recording. So just, just for reference, I'm recording this on the 19th of September. So whenever this ends up actually coming to YouTube, you'll be able to see how far behind YouTube is. It's a good few weeks it'll be because I'm I, I've just I've been loving this game at the minute, so I'm just recording a ton of it. So that might be why I'm, I might seem to have an, a, a bug or whatever that doesn't exist for you guys on your end. Because it'll probably have already been patched long ago. Um, let's go with trigger fingers. I never take trigger fingers. It's very useful, as you can clearly tell. 
Take a bullet popper as well, why not? Quickly box him in. I want the absorbing pause again. That was really good last time. Uh, impact wrists is always just an absolute laugh a minute. Double machine gun isn't that good. Wow, that was a very quick sewers. Holy hell. Get back here, little steely boy. That's level four. Oh my god, I just... Impact wrists, especially with this new little visual of all the, like, skids on the ground. Just gotta be one of the most fun items there is. So good. Taking everything out. I love having this as a golden weapon as well. It's so powerful. Ooh, triple blood it seems really good for us. Long arms seems even better for us right now. Look at how long my arms really are. This is the longest arms you've ever seen. Director Burst Grenade Launcher. That seems scary. Excuse me, buddy. Holy shit. Yeah, I'm going to heal up quite a bit there. Okay, through we go. Use a lot of ammo there, but I think it was worth it. Good, good. I'm loving this. <laughs> Especially with the uh, trigger fingers to, f to be able to swing faster when we kill stuff. It's leading to being able to fire quite quickly. And I like that. Obviously, it doesn't really work as much now. Plasma. Blood. Is that doing three damage a hit? Is that really how that works? Surely not. Surely not doing three damage a hit now. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Um, let's go with the extra damage. Charge laser we don't really need. Oh god, that's a lot of big boys. Ah, I'm stuck. I keep trying to fly over walls I can't fly over. I'm getting stuck. Hyper pop gun. Oh, yes, please. We've also got a quadruple shotgun there as well. Some lovely stuff. Last few enemies back here, I'm guessing. There you go. Not quite a level up that time. Hyper pop gun should take you out pretty goddamn quickly. Although not as quickly as I would have hoped. We ended up using all of our ammo to do that. Um, second stomach's always fun. Puffy cheeks is good. We'll take puffy cheeks. Oh my god, there's so much going on right now. Hard to keep track of everything. Bouncer Plasma. Bouncer Plasma seems very good. Stop you guys firing through walls, please. Yeah, this thing definitely needs an upgrade. We need a new melee weapon soon because the damage has fallen off. But it's still doing a good job. Got an inverted portal over here. Right, through we go. Ooh, the inverted version of this area looks awesome. Some of the some of the areas literally just look inverted, as in like they literally just look like a colour flipped version. Some of them look insane. This is one of the ones that looks insane. Okay, 
Got to be a lot more careful here, because... I think we actually managed to do that there. Mini plasma shotgun. I didn't want to do that. God damn it. <laughs> um, explosive? Sounds fun. On the Golden Lance, why not? Until we get a new melee weapon at least. Oh, balls. I do not even want to know what the inverted version of this guy's got in store for us. Oh, yeah, that is... I don't think I've ever been down there inverted. That's tricky. Okay, I'm back. And apparently this uh, this bug of the black screen is actually just to do with the specific beta version that I'm currently using. The dev is aware of it and it's going to be fixed pretty shortly, so... Nothing for you guys to worry about. You guys won't experience this in any way, shape, or form. It will be sorted in due time. But yeah, currently it's just an issue with every character. Character, Just because, um, like I said, I'm on a beta version that, that literally like just released earlier today. So that's what happens when you're playing betas. But I, I also like playing the betas because for one, I like seeing the new changes. And for two, being able to showcase those changes early is always fun. But that does not represent... The full version of the mod, so do not worry. Go with Bolt Marrow, considering we've got a Bolt Weapon. Don't see many of these Golden Scorpions nowadays. Right. Nice quick kill. Does he have exactly 100 HP? I never noticed that before. Um, extra wings. I love the fact that that's changed. More speed, walk normal on all terrains, close dodges, drop resources, can't dis be displaced by enemies. Don't think that matters too much. We'll go with puffy cheeks again. Good stuff. Beautiful, oh my god. Wrecking the place. Charge shotgun. Seems pretty good. Oh yeah, baby, it does. That with shotgun shoulders would be amazing. Uh, we're going to take the absorbing paws again here. You get out of here, you. Okay, three of these guys back here is a little risky. But, no problem for us. No problem whatsoever. Triple pop gun sounds insane as well. Oh god. Let's steal some ammo here and uh, do that. It does cost quite a bit of ammo. I'm guessing the thrum but makes it a lot, lot more efficient. There you go. Getting that heal from the uh, absorbing paws as well, which is really nice. Crack this bad boy open. Anything much more down here? Oh my god, there's a treasure trove down here. Ooh, heavy crossbow we'll take instead, because just hell of a lot more damage. Obviously slower firing, but... We got the faster reload and stuff from Puffy Cheek, so it should be good. It also just means we're actually going to be good on bosses here. Right, there we go. Um, anything that's going to help with this? Probably taking trigger fingers will be good, because we can fire this crossbow more often then. Which seems very lovely. And yeah, I'm hoping we can just demolish the boss with this thing. I think we've activated the boss early, yeah. I think it's once you get it over a certain amount of damage dealt to it, it activates the boss. Beautiful stuff. We got a Morpho laser, which I don't think we particularly need. Okay, this thing's good. I'm liking this. More ammo would probably be a good thing coming our way, because this thing uses two per shot, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. 
to use our shotgun here. We can charge it up, of course. To do very good damage. Oh, baby. I like that. Super toxic crossbow. Hmm. It's a bit risky, but I'm going to give this a go. Um, also going to take that as well. Electra gun. Hmm, I like the idea of that. I'll take that. Yeah. Take all of that quickly. Excuse me, boy. Get out of here. I really like the Electro gun there, that's cool. This crossbow seems really good too. Dangerous, but really good. Energy screwdriver, I don't think does much for us. Hey, beautiful. Yeah, you can clear huge areas with this thing. Absolutely. Oh my god, look at it. It just kills everything. I see you back there. Everything. Fire line. Mm. Fire line's probably a little bit better. We'll take the fire line. How much range does it have? A lot. <laughs> Clearly, a lot. Heavy pop gun. Oh, some interesting stuff here. Getting some really good weapons. Splinter, I think, will take on this bad boy. Thank you. A little worried about my HP being low, but oh well, we'll see how it goes. Get health there. Grab that real quick. Good thing is we heal back to full a lot easier. You can fire this thing really fast as well with the uh, Puffy Cheeks. Settle. What's this? Missile bomb. Oh god. <laughs> that just insta killed him. Okay. I'll take it. Missile bomb sounds interesting but dangerous. Uh, we'll take eagle eyes for the better accuracy on the this thing so it fires a bit straighter. Yeah, that's more, more, more like it. That is more like it. Unfortunately, I don't think there's any way we can get poison immunity. Okay, good. This is this area is good because it's a lot of straight lines. There's a blood line there. That will destroy projectiles even better. Okay, these line weapons seem good. I'm going to get a heal, get out of that though. Okay, these things flying over walls, do not appreciate. Maybe waste a lot of ammo. Well, that was literally an insta-kill, so that's nice. A lot of ammo back as well. Stop flying over walls, it's not fair. Webbing doesn't slow me down here either, which is really nice. This does so much damage. I like this thing a lot. Does use two ammo per shot again, so it's a li little on the harder side to make full use of. Infinity Revolver. Okay, that's literally just a revolver with infinite ammo. Don't think we need that particularly, but interesting to know it exists. Um, let's go with that, shall we?
Not to insta-kill these guys is very nice. Get out of here, you. Sacrificing our weapons too risky with the weapon setup we currently have. We don't have a sort of one main weapon. Super bazooka. I was trying to use this in the enclosed areas. And I can use my crossbow in the more open areas. What? Oh my god. Right, left click to main menu and then restart so, so that, that doesn't happen again. Damn. We'll do one more run. One more run. Some good ones there though. Good old screwdriver, I'll take it. Got an inverted portal here as well, I'll definitely take that. Um... Ooh, difficult here. Boiling veins. I'll take boiling veins because there's explosive enemies on the inverted floors. Never really thought about how good boiling veins is for the inverted floors because of that reason. Makes it a hell of a lot better. Projectile speed. Nice. I got projectile speed on my lance. Would have liked to have gone through the crown vault there, but... Did not get the opportunity. Just keep on this guy. You can't come with the explosives, so... You've got the upper hand there. And last few of you. Actually, more than a last few is quite a lot of you, goddamn. Move out the way of you, please. I don't want to deal with you yet. Spear launcher? Nah, I'm good. What we got here? We got... Kraken? Okay, took it through, took it through. Long arms again. Um, what was this we got? Boiling veins, okay. Got a scarier face here. Definitely take that. Yeah, having Kraken on this might be quite good. I like going melee with this thing early on. Going long arms and riding out the melee train. By the way, I know you're back over here. Goddamn crow. As if I got projectile speed on this thing. So stupid. No, don't, don't block the car. Boom. Away we go. More golden weapons. Why not get more, more golden weapons whenever we can? That was a close missile hit there. Luckily took care of him pretty easily. Yeah. Is that a blade gun? Yo-yo gun. Okay. Golden shotgun. Not bad. God damn, it's beautiful. Just wailing through, flying over rocks. What a beautiful sight to behold. It's good when you get a golden weapon like this. It can carry you for the first few stages without much of a worry. The club's kind of good. I like the club. Don't have anything on it to make it better, but doing a pretty good job. Tough shell, I think. I don't know why I keep getting explosive guys launched towards me. Doing very low damage to him, though. Or well, seemingly very low damage, based on the numbers. I don't know how accurate the numbers actually are. This thing with Kraken's probably a little bit better. But this thing's just good against, like, a group of enemies. Uh, 
Okay, cool. Through here we go. Some of the inverted areas just look so goddamn good. But they are very goddamn scary. My guy. He's riding my ass. Got a bouncer on top of there as well. Why not? We got everything on this bad boy. Um... More damage. Oh shit, I kind of forgot we had the boss here. Okay, that was that was good. Kraken on this thing as well. Why not? That was scary, but we got through it. Sorry, sheep. Yeah, Kraken on this thing, I like it. This thing just it just multiple hits over time, so it's very good at defending me. It destroys shots easily. No need for ammo where we're going. Lovely. Oh god. So many enemies here. Ho oh, ho ho my god. These guys have those unblockable shots though. We've got to be a little more careful for because we can slow them down, we can't destroy them. Nice. There we go. And then... Impact wrists, maybe? Or gamma guts, because we're getting close. I'll go with impact wrists. There we go. I think that makes more sense. The Cheshire Cat. I don't know how we're going to fare against them, I'll be honest. They fire a lot of these unblockable shots. And honestly, holding them in midair doesn't seem like a good solution. Seems like we're doing a good job damage-wise, but... Yeah, we did. Nice one. Okay, good stuff. Back through here we go. Okay, big boys. We need to very much keep our distance from. They've been a big problem for us. There you go, the big dog boys. Cluster Super Grenade Launcher. Goddamn. Quite the name. Should have deposited my weapon in there, so okay. Okay, back here again. The full melee path we've taken this time. I'm having things suck me towards them. I don't like that. But I'm blocking a lot of shots, so I, I like that quite a bit. Shotgun lance. Ooh. Hmm. This one's a melee. I might give this one a go. We could go flame. Yeah, let's go with flame on this bad boy. Nice. Okay, we'll see how this goes then. I'm unsure as to how it will go, but we're here. Give it a try. Being able to block all these shots should be good. Go, throwny throne. Yeah. This is the way to go. Don't really know how much damage I'm dealing in the grand scheme of things. But defensively, we're doing really well, so... That's mostly what I care about. I don't think it's that much damage, to be honest. It seems to be pretty a pretty slow kill. It's definitely getting faster in its shooting patterns. There you go, we finally got it. Oh, no, we didn't. Something happened, but... Right. Good, good, good. We got the throne done. 
Um, I honestly don't know what to take at this point. Not really many things that are going to be good for us. I guess we take patience and try and get something different. Let's try and use this thing a little bit. Again, I don't really think this is doing a great job either, but... Oh no, man, do you know what? That's pretty decent. That's pretty decent. Okay, I'm probably going to want to change weapons though fairly soon. Um... Yeah, I think we take that. This is why I took impact wrists. Impact wrists, once you get to loop, is so goddamn good. Is that it? Into the inverted area. Uh, plutonium hunger is probably a good shout here. Projectile speed doesn't do much for us here. Don't even know what you do. That everything? I think we're good to go. Okay. Morph. Reload speed. Reload speed's probably good with this thing. I think I'll fire it faster. Level 3 weapon, y'all. Doing good. Okay, we could have a look what's going on here. Uh, we can take ma one max HP. Nothing else, unfortunately, yet. There is a path you can take, I think, on your first loop to get every single one of those. I think. Maybe, maybe apart from the assassin. Gotta be careful of those death shots they leave. Oh, I just got level ultra. Okay, good stuff. I think reload speed did help with this. Beautiful stuff. Oh my god, we're decimating. I don't even know what ultras we're going to have for this guy. I have not had a look at him yet, so I'm going to be intrigued to find out. Get some explosive on there as well. Why the hell not? A scythe. Oh, that's pretty cool. Where's that portal at? I just heard it open, but I don't know where the hell it is. So that does a lot more damage, is the only thing. Okay, let's see what we got going on here. Moving can sometimes deflect projectiles. Uh, instead of healing, your active gives ammo for your primary at the cost of health. Interesting. Whenever you are immune, your fire projectiles at enemies, and you can fly over walls forever. Also deflect on your reticle. That seems really good. So, what's happened here is I can't move. <laughs> I went over the wall and just couldn't move. But yeah, being able to fly over walls forever and deflecting on my reticle seems real good. There's a boss somewhere around here. I don't really know what's going on with him, but... Split blade gun. Not what I expected. Guess I'll just go through here then and ignore you. Fair enough. Okay. I'm liking this setup. Mila has uh, has proved to be quite valuable here. 
yeah, the reflecting on our reticle is real good. So let me just try that. Probably not the best enemy to try it with there. Yeah. It's cool, I like it. Got lightning. Probably want to stick with what I've got on this, to be honest. Go lightning on. That, maybe? Missile launcher. Through here. And we go frost on this bad boy as well. And then, did we beat the assassin there? Did we technically beat him? We did not. <laughs> Should have just killed him to get the bonus. I think, I think the next one's a second life as well. I want to try this for a little bit and see if it's actually any good. This is more protective, but the range is obviously more limited. It's doing a pretty good job. This is a lot better for the range of it. Beautiful. Can I go double lightning? Does that work? I can go double lightning. I wonder if that actually does anything though. I feel so much more confident using this thing because it's got that huge like wave of range. Like it, the, the, the sort of, the, the pattern lingers for so much longer sort of thing. Anyone else? Okay, that was it. Looks like we're definitely going to fight the dragon here. It's fine by me. Holy crap. There's some shenanigans going on up here. My goodness. Where's the actual last enemies? I think I think I left quite a few of them over here, to be honest. Okay. Good, good, good. Yeah, I definitely need a better melee weapon than the scythe. The scythe's good, but I, I'm sure there must be some better stuff out there for me. Um, Swarm. Splinter. Uh, what? I replaced my reload speed by accident there. I did not mean to do that. My bad. I did not mean to do that. And now I have Swarm on there as well, I guess. I think I was definitely better off with reload speed, but what's done is done, I guess. Oh, no way. As if I got run over. Anyways, we'll leave the episode off there. I hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next one.